Hi everyone, I'm Talia and today I'm going to have you plan January with me. Alright, for those of you who are new to the channel, let me tell you how it's going to go. I'm going to plan in time-lapse form and at the end we'll come together, do a flip through and I'll talk about what's going on this month. And don't forget to subscribe because I have a video like this every month. So let's dive in.
Alright, welcome back. Um, I messed up a lot on this spread, but hey, nothing stickers can't fix, so covered up with a bunch of stickers, a little bit of hand lettering. Um, but yeah, let's just go over this real quick and I'll give you the tour. And this is my January calendar. I love that the first is a Monday. I usually start my calendars on Monday because I just think that's how the week goes. I want the weekend over here and I want Monday start. But that's how my life goes. Okay, so over here I have my January title with a couple cute snowflakes and some mittens. So I went with a snow theme, obviously. And the only things I've entered so far are just the hard landscape of what's going on those days. And so I have um, a writing class I'm working on and then my son has preschool on those days also. Um, the writing class is online, by the way. And then I have the little stars next to the preschool days that I'm working in the class. That's just a little note to me. And um, then I can fill the other thing things in. All right. Okay, so on the next page, I have my January tracker. So we'll go to that first. So this is my habit tracker. It's kind of also a goal tracker, things that I want to um, so they could be pertaining to goals, but things that I'm trying to do on a regular basis. So I have just a few things, nine things. So it's not a ton of stuff to track, but um, I do have space that I could add more if I decide I have another priority I want to add in for the month. Yeah, it just keeps my head in the game. So yes, and I had fun playing with my little uh, marker there on the title. Hope it wasn't too boring for you guys. <laughs> Okay, now this is really fun. This is my um, mood snowflake. If you've been following my channel for a while, you know I'm a big fan of the mood mandala. And um, the past um, two months I've been, this month and the month before, I um, have been experimenting with different things for the mood mandala. I was inspired last month with um, my mood ornament that I'm still working on as you can see as the month goes along but I really like how it's coming out so I wanted to try a little mood snowflake to go with my snow theme and I'm not a great artist this was not that hard to do just little lines and circles and I uh, miscounted so I have a few extras but that's fine. I'll just color them in at the end with whatever color I want. And so I do want to point out if you're not interested in a mood tracker, but you want to track something else that's not, uh, you know, a check mark, something a little more subjective, um, then you can use this for anything. Okay, and over here is my second calendar. It was uh, kind of shamelessly pilfered off of um, Boho Berry. She was doing a gratitude calendar and I love that idea because actually I've been doing that for a while. I've been um, just on my main calendar. So let me go back to my old bullet journal. And so as you see I was um, just kind of doing like a couple word notes on my calendar, my main calendar, um, as kind of like just a log of keeping what I did that day. I did that in November also. So I just wrote a few little things in the calendar and that was great, but I did not do it in December. And I think it was just because I couldn't really journal in these squares right here. So I just kind of left it and didn't do it. So I wanted a space that I would definitely continue doing that. So I'm making it a gratitude log because that's really what it was. It was the highlights of the day and I'm really grateful for the highlights of my day. So I'm really excited about using this calendar. It's nice that I'll have a separate calendar so I don't have to worry about the other calendar getting too busy for me to journal. So I'm really excited about that. We got winter wonderland. And my last two spreads um, are my January memories page and my month in review. And here I'm going to try to put, um, you know, a little, it's like a scrapbooking page of like little memories, maybe um, pictures. If the kids did something new or exciting, then I can just write it in there so that I have a place for the exciting things that happened that month, the biggies. And then this is my month in review, and this is a more analytical um, review because this one's more personal and just fun like what were the great things that happened this month this one it's an analysis I'm gonna do um, you know what worked what didn't area where I'm gonna break down what went well this month and what I can do to improve for next month goals and balance and otherwise and that is it guys so entire bullet journal is set up 
for the new year. And these are pages I set up in my um, 2018 video. I'll link that for you guys. And then now I have just go straight into my calendar, my monthly pages. And I'm really excited. It's going to be a great month. It's going to be a great start to the new year. All right. Thank you everyone for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you all soon. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.